Well, the concert is actually to celebrate Messiaen's 100th year. So to do that, we're actually programming one seminal work by Messiaen alongside four works by his students. It's hard to think of Tristan Mirai and Gerard Grisey and Pierre Boulez and Alain Gausson as students because these guys are already established masters in their own right. But historically speaking, they were in his composition classes. In this piece, Oiseau Exotique, he seriously made a study of bird sounds. Uh, he loved bird sounds. Et voici le rossignol. Il éclate tout d'un coup, brusquement. Le, la seconde strophe, ce sont des batteries sur deux sons très célèbres. Tico, 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 tico. So this is a kind of miniature, the Oiseau Exotique, of that. So, uh, what I love about it is the instrumentation, uh, the fantastic sounds of the percussion, the fantastic sounds of the winds, and of the piano, imitating endless birds, both repeating them, putting them in different contexts, putting them one against the other. I mean, it's totally charming and exhilarating and exciting. The real historical event you can witness if you come to this concert is to see Tristan Murai play his own Ond Martineau concerto live. The Ond Martineau is an instrument that Messiaen used himself quite a bit. The sound resembles a theremin somewhat, but it's a keyboard instrument, so there's more control. And it, it's entirely analog, and so it's, it's a very warm sound, although it's also an electronic sound. Argento is going to play the U.S. premiere of a piece by Pierre Boulez, in which, in fact, we just got a chance to rehearse and play for Boulez a few weeks ago. I, I just do it once. Uh, yeah, please. To show you. The, the title of the piece was inspired by a word from Zen Buddhism. Um, satori, which uh, refers to a moment of inner awakening, kind of illumination and enlightenment. The, the thing about this piece is, from the very beginning, I had the impression that maybe he was a clarinetist himself, because he understands the clarinet in a way that you almost very rarely find with a contemporary composer. Grisé Manifestation is a, is a three-movement piece. For kids, I think what's interesting is that there's a lot of uh, variety in it. Even, even in things that seem fairly abstract, there's a lot of rhythmic variety, um, and um, there's a lot of sonic variety with the addition of the different instruments, the cookie sheets. And so um, uh, they are quite engaged um, and seem to like the piece a lot. Well, Messiaen was somebody who included everything in his music, right? He included opera, he included stained glass, he included nature, birds, and that's all included in this experience. It's basically celebrating not only Messiaen's music, but his teachings as well. <laughs> <laughs> 